Mike Mo, switch flip 10 stair, fireball. I got a phone call from Brandon Beeble, and he's like, hey Mo, there's some stairs here and you're gonna have to switch flip them and they're gonna blow up. I was like, oh yeah, a good one. I actually show up there and there's this like 10 stair that's just completely built out out of balsa wood. Ty comes up to me, he's like, hey, you're gonna be switch flipping those stairs right there. And I'm like, oh, yeah, and we're gonna explode it with napalm. So I was like practicing doing the trick a few times before. I think I did it like three or four times in a row and I was like, okay, let's go, let's film. Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous. How old are you? 17. What trick are you going to do? 17 year old fireball coming in, huh? <laughs> you doing a kick flip? I do a switch flip. Switch flip? Yeah. All right, here's what we've got here. The same things that were, we used this morning, if everybody was here, we're using, but we're using a lot more. The other thing is, is we're blowing up 100 pounds of napoleon and then a huge fireball that's going to come out of there, boom, and continue to go up. We just want it to be as quick to his landing as possible. So if, if, he, if he stomps it, then blow it. Yeah. If you fall, you've got to go down. So if you fall, you can't get back up. You'll understand why that heat will drive you to the ground. I didn't see what the explosion was going to look like beforehand, so I had no idea what to expect. Right when I land, all I heard was a giant boom. And the hearing in my left ear went out, and then I felt a giant tidal wave of heat just come over my body. And that's kind of like why in the footage when I'm rolling away, I kind of grab my shirt and it looks like I'm trying to like peel it off my body, just because the heat was so overwhelming. I like... I thought it was just huh? it blasted. Yeah, you're good, you're good. I can't hear anything. <laughs> you were pushing, boom. you're like, holy fuck. I was like, yeah. I was like, like, oh, like my hair, my dude. Fire. I was like, oh my frames oh my the God. square in the middle. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. That's pretty close. Oh. 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 I gotta see the time, Mr. He's like, I'm just like, oh my. Thanks. Can't hear out of this ear. How many tries is that? First, first try. <laughs> God. Okay, dude. everybody, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. All hands on deck to clean up, please. Thank you very much. For whatever reason, I could never part with the shirt from the intro of Foley Flare. I'm like, that had a good memory attached to it. I can't get rid of it. But then when we came up with the idea of cutting the shirt up and creating a unique collectible out of it, I thought it was a perfect way to take a piece of that moment and actually be able to share it with other people. Because for me personally, that moment is something that meant a lot to me and it's something I'll never forget. But yeah, this is the shirt. Like I said, I can never get rid of it. But now we're gonna do the complete opposite. We're gonna cut it into a whole bunch of pieces for you guys. <laughs>